Alrighty, welcome back everyone to the Gamer Professor. We're going to continue on here, and this this episode, we are actually going to take a little couple of uh, little side quests here. You know, I understand what they're doing with these raids because the raids are the main way that you can, you know, get upgrades for your your base and you can expand. So what they do is some raids, of course. You know, there's a tiered system, right? This raid is 250 power. Of course, I'm nowhere near that. What is my power anyway? 60 something? 69. So, what I am going to do here is we'll explore this sunken area, city down here. I don't know what this is. It's close to the story quest, so I'm curious if I'll have to go through there. May do that next episode. But this episode, we're going to focus on some treasure... Uh, hunting, and again, we can't go over here, or over here, 190, 160, 250, I'll get one-shotted by, you know, guards, but instead what we will do is we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna focus on a raid real quick here, and then we're gonna go back to our base, we're gonna do a, um, sorry, looking at the rain effects, uh, we're going to do a, a raid, and then we're going to finish up with expanding one of our base elements the uh, Roman Roman collector guy whoa whoop whoa that was weird I have no idea what that was so I guess if you hold down left bumper you can uh, that was weird Really don't know what that was about. Oh, I keep forgetting this sword when the guys are down. This great sword in particular, they get knocked down. Has one of those um, boom right in the side. Uh, it has one of those like it. Oh, geez, lots of archers here. It uh makes them poisoned. Tons of guys up there. Oh, can I hit? Wait a minute, can I hit these? Is this explosive? It is. <laughs> I didn't even see that. These guys. Ah. I really wish they'd get new animations for some of these, uh, some of these things, because some of them, they're kind of extremely similar. Oh! Got the great Brazil right there. It seems to be a ton of dudes. They're all just hanging out with their bows. <laughs> Everyone seeing this? Oh, I'm, I'm out of adrenaline. I'm like, what can I? Oh, I used it uh, to poison. That was the problem. I used it as po- Ooh. Still takes a, a couple of attempts to get used to, um, you know, using combat skills, especially new ones. See, these are the, the raw materials. Those are the things that it's hard to find anywhere else but, you know, in these raids, and that's what really is your, you know, your base building is really predicated upon, so if you don't have that... Oh, what have we got here? Oh. Oh, predator arrows, I will save those. See, I'm used to using poison in the um, 
in Assassin's Creed Odyssey because poison was such a great way, especially when you equipped, you know, poison on a bow and did that multi-shot. Man, it just made it so easy. Kind of, oh, right over the top. There. Made it so easy to take everybody down. Oh, these guys are hardcore dudes. Ooh. Sometimes pressing dodge, I don't know. <sighs> this game is somewhat finicky when it comes to dodging. I don't know why. It's just, it's very like, eh. Sometimes it works, sometimes it does not, I swear. What's this weird singing going on here? these uh you know these flavor texts that they have you know scrolls and stuff some of them don't really tell that much as it relates to the rest of the world and what's going on they're just kind of like i don't know they're just there so that they can put them there just in, like i don't know every now and then you'll find there's a lot of cer you know certain games especially games like the witcher where you know, Witcher 3, where, you know, some of the text is extremely important to really understanding what's going on or to, you know, making uh, the storyline make sense. This one so far I'm finding is kind of uh, Fallout 4 had a decent amount of that stuff too, where there was a, a decent amount of text where it really was, oh, we got a dude here we can take out? Oh, yeah. Um, it was very like... It, it was important to read. It actually really helped to understand, you know, the context of the situation and stuff like that. Oh, let's go find this guy. You know what? Every time I deal with these guys, I swear, even though this guy should be in my realm, every now and then I swear I, I get to these, you know, these guys who, are they part of the, the order guys? Yeah, these guys. I get to them and I swear... When I have to go fight them, they're they're always like way overpowered for me. So this guy should be on my level. I mean, we're in Ladestishire, which is suggested power twenty. I'm suggested. I think I'm you know seventy or whatever, sixty nine. So we should be good, right? But I'm gonna save it anyway because oh I can't save it. Of course, of course. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna... Is it this guy? See, if this is the, the person... See, suggested power 90. I'm... Uh, again, he's in the suggested power area that is what level 20 so he's just some level 90 guy running around but i'm pretty sure i can take him out i've taken i've taken bigger guys out than him so oh geez he's probably like what was that noise <laughs> I, 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 this is hilarious i don't know how i'm missing this dude there we go it's pretty bad oh got him right in the foot There we go. Oh, did he see me? I think he did. Come on, Cola. Weird name. Well, this guy's a, he's got a bone arrow? Whoa, dude. Jeez. 
Jeez, his attacks are really weird. See, he does this weird, like, thrusting attack, and I can't seem to dodge it. It's really annoying. That is really weird. See, I don't, I don't understand. He's like getting these attacks off. See, you do two attacks and then he somehow comes back with another attack. Really, I don't think I'm going to be able to take this guy. Oh my gosh. Two. See, right there, that guy should have been, should have been stunned. So the fact that, see again... This game, it, 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 it faces the same exact problem that Darksiders 3 faced. When they tried to make it Dark Souls-ish and all based upon dodging, right, and, and the ability to dodge well. Guess what? Like, that works in a game. What? Oh, my gosh. This has got to be the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Wow. Th this is pretty bad. I don't know why. That just really ticks me off. Because it's like... Games that, that use dodging are great when the dodging is good. But too many times you get these games where the dodging is not solid. So the mechanic itself is flawed. Which makes for, you know, a terrible sort of like game and it's just funny it's like who's oh there he is it's like where's this guy <laughs> sometimes the arrows too are very very i'm not gonna say they're bad they it's like they don't hit perfectly That is really annoying. I, you know, for some reason, I thought that they had an autosave function or feature here, which is really weird. I can't believe they didn't have one. <laughs> is that guy? <laughs> He's still. That was a very. Oh, did a little Bruce Lee stomp there from from high up. So anyway, that's uh, just. It's really annoying. I don't know why those guys, the, those zealots, uh, the, the way that they fight and the way that they do things is so annoying because it's like they are able to just cut through your dodges. <sighs> really annoying. Oh, let me shoot these things. Yeah, that was really annoying. Again, d dodging in games, if it's executed correctly, is really good. When it's not executed correctly, and that's why, you know, out of all the... Uh... Whoa. I didn't get that guy? You know, out of all the Darksiders game, Darksiders 3 got a lot of flack... And rightfully so, because the game had some serious issues with just how the main mechanic worked. And especially in a game where it's a main mechanic, right? That's the other problem. And I don't know about you, but it feels like dodging is a pretty big mechanic, at least in this game. So it becomes even more problematic when it doesn't work well in a game where it's something you really got to be, you know, cognizant of and do well, or else...
you know, stamina management, stuff like that. Oh, come on, bro. Where's this guy going? You know, I kind of understand that, guys, that Zealot's attack now, so we should be okay, but... And, you know, I don't use a lot of combat skills, you know, beyond, like, maybe something like the throwing axe on the Zealots. I just... It's just not something I do. So... Maybe I'll try that this time. Okay, let's do this again. Give me a hand with so this. annoying. I really cannot believe that guy just murked me. And I can't believe there's no autosave. Which is weird, especially because... See, I thought the autosave would have happened when you did the, um... You know, when you, when you completed the mission or the monastery. Like, I thought the, like, the autosave would kick in, but... I guess not. Okay. Let's get this one, and then let's go... I'm gonna go deal with that jabroni. Come, help me with this. <laughs> you, see that? you see that guy? He's like, still approaching it cautiously, like, I don't know. See, I thought right here, when the raid was complete, I, w I, I would have got some sort of, like, autosave. Uh, I guess I was just completely off. Whatever, though. That's fine. Okay. We're gonna go get this cola guy again, and I'm not gonna mess it up. And if I do, I'm gonna lose it. So again, I'm not in danger. See, so cannot save game right now. Why not? Why can't I save my game? I'll try it again. Unless, you know, mark this guy just so I don't get that close to him. There we go. Why can't I save my game? This is really weird. I mean this seriously, like, why can't I save my game? Am I not far enough away from the monastery to, like, be able to save it? Can I save it now? Okay, now I can. So I guess once you hear the horn the second time, you're far enough away or something? Okay, let's try this again. He's coming down this road, so we'll cut him off and hit him, hopefully. So now there's another horn, so I don't know what these horns are about. Alright. Okay. Let's poison this. Ooh, he's far away. Hopefully I can get him. Nope, didn't get him. Got the horse. Oh my gosh. So annoying. The problem is, is that your arrows, after such a long distance, they don't, you can't move them left or right. Oh my gosh. They really need to make these arrows in, in a bigger hit marker area because they are way, and I do mean way too problematic where... Like, you'll be close, and it just won't work. It's so weird. See, like... Pff, dude, what, like, what, what are we, like, two inches from this guy? My gosh. See, his thrust, where he does it? it see, I'm dodging him, and he doesn't seem to, like... See, like that. Why is my stamina not work? Like, dude, the dodge again. This, 
game has one of the worst dodge systems I've dealt with in a while. It's so problematic. It just doesn't make any sense. Wow, this guy... Amazing. This guy's got more skills than I can imagine. And there's no stagger. That's the other thing. Notice I'm whacking this guy with my sword. And he just... He's like, ah, I just come through your great sword. Like, I hit him and I'm like in major trouble. I hit this guy five times in a row. Does not matter. This guy's... I'm not going to lie. This guy's kind of cheating too. <laughs> I hit dodge. Dude, I am telling you. This has got to be one of the worst fights I've ever played in the video game. And I'm not even a prisoner of the moment and being angry. This is just bad. I'm telling you, I'm pressing dodge when there are palpable, you know, indicators that I should be hitting dodge. There are palpable indicators that I should be hitting dodge, which is, I think that's what pisses me off the most. There's a flash. There's a flash of like, oh yeah, you should do this. And this is how you know when to, to you know, press dodge. I press dodge and it doesn't matter. And I, I mean that dead serious. Like it just doesn't matter that I'm pressing dodge. See, I don't understand. Like, again, these yellow flashes are supposed to let me know when to dodge. And I hit dodge. And half the time it's like, nope, nope, not going to let you dodge. See, you hit him a couple times. Then he does his little dodge or his little attack. And you're supposed to, you know, dodge. But a bunch of times it won't let you. See, two, see, there he goes with his dot, with his attack. See, it's kind of like you have to interrupt them with your own thing. Because if I do two attacks, see, there he goes, his, does his dodge again. Or his attack. He's saying, my, I'm thinking of my dodge. See, right there, I dodged and it didn't slow time down. I think that's what ticks me off so much. Is that it doesn't seem to work half the time. Oh, jeez. That was the most annoying thing. Third time's a charm, I guess. And then these little audio things at the end here are so weird. This is a mere moment. No one will remember it. No one. Not your name, nor mine. It all ends up the same. They always do these in Assassin's Creed. My only regret is losing to whatever you are. You reek of fading glory. Well, coming from a guy who just got murked by my sword, I wouldn't trust him. All right, we're going to end it there, everyone. Thanks for tuning in this time. I'll catch you next time, and we'll uh, go back to some base building. Take care. Thank you so much for watching The Gamer Professor. Please subscribe to the channel. Feel free to leave me a comment below. Anytime you want to talk to me, feel free to catch me on all my other social media platforms, Twitch, Twitter, Facebook. Remember, all one word, The Gamer Professor. Thanks so much for the view. Take care.